I wanted to ask about an experience that I had recently, and I'm still kind of having it. Um, I, uh, I understand that resistance is what causes illness, and I'm wondering ultimately if um, letting go of resistance is the only cure, is the only way to cure. Isn't that logical? In other words, there are a lot of ways to release resistance. So in an illness, your desire for wellness is at an all-time high. So the asking is exaggerated. And then you could go to a physician who applies a particular method and believes in it, and your belief in what he believes in could cause you to release resistance, and the cure could come. Okay. Or you could talk to someone who says, oh, I experienced that, it's not that big of a deal, and I just relaxed and meditated, and, and I brought myself into alignment, and if that resonates with you, then that would be your way of uh, lining up. So our answer is, there's not only one method to achieve wellness, but you always release resistance in order to bring yourself back into wellness. Illness is always as a result of resistance. Okay. I think I got you. I want to ask, uh, the way I experienced um, the improvement, I was having joint pain, and after trying you know, a lot of over-the-counter stuff and um, you know, things that people told me should work, um, I went to a nutritionist who I think he believed you know, in what he was doing. My disposition when I went to him was, um, I was hopeful, but I was also cynical because I was tired of throwing money after things that just weren't working. I felt marketed to death. And the improvement was almost immediate, like within three days, four days. I felt definite improvement. Now, before you got there, we want to ask you some other questions. How did you find out about this person? A friend of mine told me about him. And do you remember how you felt when you heard? Hopeful. So your energy shifted right then, and right. the improvement even began right then. Yes. In other words, the okay. resistance began dissipating even before you saw this person. Okay. Then, do you remember how you felt once you visited with this person? I appreciated his integrity. So you um, believed that he believed what he was doing. Yes. And so now you shifted from hopeful to more hopeful, maybe even hopeful to expectant. Yeah. And do you think and that you had ever taken <clears throat> that emotional journey before on this particular uh, situation? In other words, didn't you find that to be a different emotional journey than you had taken when you were feeling sort of tapped out? Yes, it was. Yes. But I also, um, because I, I noticed um, a definite improvement once I started taking the vitamins, I also attributed some of it to the vitamins. You know, I call them the well, magic pills. that's all right. In other words, we're, we're not for a moment suggesting <clears throat> that you should not benefit by the technology of your time-space reality. Mm -hmm. What we are saying is you can take pills in an attitude of pessimism and not get the benefit from them that you do when you take them in an attitude of positive expectation. So it could I just have not taken anything and still done it? Yes, it's possible that you could have been talked to by a friend who knew of someone who had another methodology, who believed so much in that methodology that that hope could have come forth. But here's the mm -hmm. thing. It's sort of not of very much value to say, well, I went this way and it worked, but was there another way for me to go? Because the way that worked for you, and this is always true, was the path of least resistance. Right. Now, when you think about it, you were sort of burned out on this and burned out on that, <clears throat> no longer trusting that. And so you'd sort of closed out many of your other options. Now, could those other options work for you? Yes, but that's not the point. They didn't work for you because they were a clash to the vibration that you were holding at the time, meaning they were a clash to the beliefs that you held or they were a clash to some intentions that you held. Everything that you want, there are dozens of solutions that are lined up in the wings for you. And they are solutions that really are the path of least resistance for you. And so it doesn't matter what you've done to cause your resistance to lower, that's why there are so many different methodologies that work for different people. And it's why no one can create something that works every single time for everybody because there is enough vibrational variance. So what we would say if we were standing in your physical shoes is, 
I'm not really sure how I came around to this, but I am sure that I felt enthusiasm for this when I heard it. And as I followed it through, my enthusiasm continued to increase. And my enthusiasm did point me in the direction of the solution that I was seeking. And there are other people that could be pointed to surgery and would receive the solution. There are other people that could be pointed to some sort of synthetic medicine that would receive the solution. There are some people that could be pointed to voodoo or rabbit's foot and receive the same sort of solution. And it doesn't really matter. And we want you to not quarrel anymore with the methods that people are using and just begin saying, oh, isn't it nice that there's something for everyone? And isn't it nice that the universe has delivered something that works for me? through the path of least resistance, wellness always occurs. And don't nitpick over whatever your path of least resistance is. Bless the path, you see. Don't compare it to anybody else. Bless the path. Thank you.